Hi everyone, I am Dr. Saundara Raj. I am very happy to interact with you all through this video. In this video, I am going to take you through two exercises and their related solutions from the topic marginal casting. These problems are related with the accounting treatment of calculating break-even point profit from a given sales volume, then calculation of revised sales in terms of units in order to earn the same amount of profit though there is a change in selling price. These are all a few details related to my career. After you watch the full video, if you find the video useful to you, give a like to the video and do subscribe my channel so that you will get the notifications of my future videos. Sum number 1. From the following particulars, you are required to determine a. Break-even sales volume b. Profit at the budgeted sales volume and c. Profit if actual sales drop by 10% over the budgeted sales. These are all the three questions to be answered in this problem. The budgeted sales given in the problem is amounted 18,50,000 rupees. We are also given with a few other details as per the table presented. In the second column, you find the details are given as variable cost as percentage of sales. Whereas the third column is titled with fixed cost in amount. Now let's look at the details that are presented in the table. Direct material, which is nothing but 32.8% of sales. Direct labor, 28.4% of sales. Factory overhead, the variable portion of factory overhead is 12.6% of sales. Whereas the fixed portion is given in terms of amount as 1,89,900. Therefore, factory overhead is a semi-variable overhead. Distribution overhead, the variable portion of distribution overhead is 4.1% of sales. Whereas the fixed portion of the same overhead is 58,400 rupees. General administrative overhead, which is nothing but 1.1% on sales is variable 66,700 rupees is fixed portion of the same. Here I have done these two calculations for our convenience. These two won't be given in the problem. You need to total after reading the problem, you need to total these two columns. If you total them, you get 79% as variable cost of sales. Whereas Total fixed cost comes to 3,15,000 rupees. Now using the data presented in the problem, let us answer the questions one by one. Number one, break-even sales volume. Now so we are asked to find out the break-even sales in terms of value. Now to calculate the break-even point in terms of value, the formula is fixed cost divided by PVR. So therefore, we need to find out the PVR first, then apply this given formula for calculating the break-even point. Now what is PVR here? See it's very simple. In the problem it is clearly stated that 79% of sales is uh, variable cost. Therefore the remaining 21% of sales is what? Profit volume ratio which stands for calculating contribution. This is simple logic. Sales includes variable cost and contribution in a particular sense. If you know Sales is 100, variable cost is 79% of the 100 and therefore the remaining 21% is nothing but contribution. So contribution on sales in terms of percentage is nothing but profit volume ratio. And that is why I have clearly stated that if 79% of sales is variable cost, the remaining 21% is a profit volume ratio. Now let's apply the details of fixed cost and profit volume ratio in the formula for calculating BEP. 3,15,000 rupees divided by 21% gives us 15 lakh rupees. That's what break even point sales in sum number 1. Now let's answer question 2 in the same problem. Calculation of profit at budgeted sales. You know, we were informed that the budgeted sales in the problem is 18,50,000 rupees. To calculate profit at the budgeted sales, let us first calculate contribution on the sales. How to calculate contribution on a given sales? Contribution is equal to sales into PVR is a very popular formula. We have used this formula in many of the problems for which I have released the videos. So sales into PVR, sales 18,50,000 into PVR 21%, it comes to 3,88,500 rupees, that's a contribution. 
contribution includes fixed cost and profit now let us rearrange the formula for our convenience what is it we want to know we want to know the profit so let us rearrange this formula as what profit is equal to contribution minus fixed cost contribution 388500 minus fixed cost 315000 therefore the balance 73500 is profit so at the budgeted sales of 1850000 rupees this business could earn a profit of 73500 rupees now let's answer question c which is the last question in sum number 1 calculation of profit if actual sales drop by 10% over budgeted sales so let's calculate the actual sales budgeted sales minus 10% of budgeted sales it comes to 1665000 rupees so this is going to be the actual sales for the business to calculate profit at the actual sales let us first calculate contribution on such sales and the same old formula which we used previously that's nothing but contribution is equal to sales into pvr so 1665000 into 21% it gives us 349650 as a contribution from the sale of 1665000 from the contribution if you subtract fixed cost you will come to know the profit the same step we have followed when we answered the previous question in the same problem so 349650 contribution minus 315000 fixed cost it gives us 34650 as a profit if the concern makes the turnover of 1665000 it could earn a profit of 34650 this is what sum number 1 let's get into sum number 2 the statement of cost of a machine is as follows material 200 rupees labor 100 rupees variable expenses 50 rupees if you total these first three items you will get the variable cost per unit now regarding fixed expenses it is 75 rupees per machine then total cost 425 If you add profit 100, you get the selling price of 525 per unit of the product. The number of machines sold and made 10,000 units. Now find out the break-even point. That's question number one. Question number two: How many machines must be produced and sold to realize the present amount of profit if the price is reduced by 25 rupees? Very simple. If the price from 525 comes down to 500 rupees per unit of the product. now how many units of the product which is nothing but machine to be produced in order to earn the same amount of total profit which we are earning now so let us now calculate the break even point fixed cost divided by pvr is a formula for calculating break even point now how to calculate pvr in the problem you can apply a more customized formula which is nothing but contribution margin per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100 which will give you pvr now contribution margin per unit is nothing but selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit selling price per unit is 525 variable cost per unit in total it comes to 350 divided by 525 selling price into 100 it gives us 33.333% or you can simply say 1 by 3 that is what pvr now let us apply that in the formula but prior to that as i said let us calculate the fixed cost in total fixed expenses per unit 75 rupees into number of units produced 10000 units it's very simple to understand that fixed expenses is 75 per unit when the factory produces 10000 units of a given product and that is what you need to understand so in that perspective it comes to 750000 rupees that is what total fixed cost let us apply them in the formula what is that fixed cost divided by pvr 750000 divided by 1 by 3 it gives us the break even sales value of 2250000 rupees now let's answer question number 2 calculation of number of cycles or machines or whatever the product to be made and sold to earn the present amount of profit when the selling price is reduced by 25 rupees now let us come to know what is the present amount of profit the factory currently produces and sells 10000 units the profit per unit given in the problem is 100 if you multiply this two you get 10 lakh rupees as the total profit being earned by the company as of now 
this is what going to be the desired profit for our calculation next now number of cycles to be made and sold to earn a desired profit of 10 lakh rupees fixed cost plus desired profit the whole divided by contribution margin per unit will let you know how many units of the product to be manufactured and sold at a price of 500 rupees per unit in order to earn the desired profit of 10 lakh rupees and that is what we have done now prior to that let us find out what is going to be the new contribution margin per unit new selling price per unit minus vc per unit there is no change in variable cost therefore the same old variable cost per unit could be applied here so new selling price per unit is 500 rupees variable cost per unit is 350 rupees the difference between the two 150 is a new contribution margin per unit now let's apply them in the formula number of uh, cycles or machines or products to be manufactured and sold to earn the desired profit of 10 lakh is nothing but 7 lakh 50 thousand fixed cost plus 10 lakh rupees desired profit divided by new contribution margin per unit 150 it gives us 11,667 machines or cycles or products to be manufactured by the company so that it can earn the current total profit of 10 lakh rupees at the new selling price of 500 rupees per unit thanks for watching this video i hope i have done my explanation for these two exercises clearly these two problems are very very important problems from the examination point of view i will meet you in another video bye for now everyone